young people, you are in the most fertile season of your life. You get it right today. You keep enjoying the blessings thereof all your life. Get it right on time. Get it right on time. The pursuit of God is the security of every man's destiny. Remember now the Lord your God in the days of your youth. Before the evil come when you say, I have no more pleasure in them. Remember now. Time is running out. 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 Remember now, time is running out. He said, I've written to you, young men, because you are strong. You are in your era of strength. Because the word of God abides in you and you overcome the wicked one. This is your overcoming time. Whatever you don't overcome now may stay with you for life. Awake, thou that sleepest, arise from the dead, and Christ shall give thee light. I found myself in the faith 25 years ago. Five years after, I have not one regret. Not one regret. Five years after, not one regret. Five years after, not one regret. Nobody follows God and regret it. Please, wake up and take responsibility. And what I'm saying is this. If you don't catch Jesus here, I don't know what you are looking for. I can't tell where else you may find him. So reposition. Reposition. The task of maintaining a revived state is simple. Leviticus 6, 12 and 13. The fire upon the altar shall be burning in it. It shall not go out. I will keep it on. The priest shall burn wood on it every morning. Every morning. The Holy Ghost is the fire of heaven. But to keep that bonfire, we have to put the wood of the world every morning. The farther you are from the world, the lower the bonfire goes. And when you wait, know what's happening, it turns to red charcoal and begins to go brown, and then black, and then dead. So I lay wood on it every morning. So we go through prayer to find the fire. We put the wood to keep the fire burning. We keep putting the wood to keep the fire burning. Jesus is the Lord of the house of Jesus. He's the wood. And he's the living world. So we keep casting the word on it. So you can't sustain a revived state without prayer and the word as a lifestyle. You can't sustain revival in your life. I can't sustain that in my life without the word and prayer going together on daily basis. On daily basis. On daily basis. We came out with some publications recently. We're coming out with two more volumes. Treasures of life. They are direct from my diaries. The bulk of them are not in any books yet that I wrote. Every morning I'm learning something. I've written some things this morning. Amazing things. That steer the spirit from the word of God. You can't sustain it by just going to church carrying one Bible and then on Sunday you look here and there. You don't even understand what they are saying, talking about. How much can a man survive who eats only once a week? How long will that man survive? One lunch on Sundays. Only. Only. Is ready to die. Ready to die. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes out of the mouth of God. So we stay alive in God by the word, by feeding on the word, by feeding on the word, by feeding on the word. We imbibe divine nature as we feed on the word. Second Peter chapter 1 verse 4. We are by giving unto us this precious and promises by which we become partakers of the divine nature. 
have an escape the corruption that is in the world through lust. The more you bask in the world, the freer you are from the corruption that is in the world. So it's time to get down to pray. It's time to get married to your Bible. Everybody, no matter how busy you are, you have time to eat. You have time to eat. In the same way, you must have the time. You don't have to create it. You already have it. Set the time apart to feed on the world consciously, deliberately. Not reading for fun, not religious reading, you know, Bible studies. Feeding, feeding. Feeding that we know what to feed on. Feeding that we know what get, came into you as you feed. I saw clearly this morning, some people live a revived life all their life. Others don't ever experience one bit of it. Every morning, you lay wood in order. You lay wood in order. You lay wood in order every morning. That keeps us going. The good news is, we shall experience such mighty awakening in our lives as we choose to take responsibility. You can hear whatever thing is being said, but what to do, what to hard, is what determines what becomes of you. Thank you so much for staying till the end of this video. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. We appreciate you being part of our community and look forward to sharing more content with you soon. Thank you so much for your time and God bless you.